Hi everyone, it's Christine and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing two sunscreens from Purito. I'm going to be reviewing their Purito Comfy Water Sunblock and the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. So Purito actually has three sunscreens. You'll see that I have two out of the three today. So the third one is actually the Centella Green Level Scented Version and that's actually the original. And I've actually done a whole other sunscreen review video where I reviewed all the sunscreens I had in my bathroom cabinet. So if you're interested in watching that, um, I will put it up here and down below. So that's where I actually reviewed the Centella Green Level original version. But long story short, the Centella Green Level original version did not work for me. I am not a huge fan of it because of the fact that it has lavender essential oil. So the scent of the lavender was just so overpowering that I didn't like using it because I'm really just somebody who doesn't prefer fragrance or scents in a lot of my skincare products. So yeah, I just really didn't like it because of the scent. But other than that, it has a really lovely texture, feels like light moisturizer, and I actually really enjoyed the way it feels on my skin. So let's talk about the Centella Green Level unscented sun. So this has SPF 50 just like the original. It's rated PA++++, which I believe is the highest rating um, you can get as a PA rating as a sunscreen. To be honest, I'm not really sure um, how the PA rating is done, but the more pluses basically the better for your sunscreen. This is a chemical sunscreen that utilizes Juvenal A Plus as its sunscreen ingredient, so you don't have to worry about white cast. The texture on this is lovely, and it feels pretty much the same as the original version. I would describe the texture of this as a lightweight moisturizer. It does help moisturize the skin, and it just blends really beautifully into the skin. Comparing it to another popular chemical sunscreen, which is the Dear Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence, that one I would say is lighter and not as moisturizing. I think this one is more moisturizing, so I would recommend this for anybody who has drier skin. I think you would really enjoy this chemical sunscreen. This of course does contain Centella Asiatica extract and Purito says that this actually contains more Centella Asiatica than the original version does. So if you look carefully at the ingredients list, you'll see not only do they list Centella Asiatica, but they also list Madagascaside and Asiatica side, both of which are key components found in Centella Asiatica. Centella Asiatica is well known for its soothing properties and its wound healing properties and it is just overall a great ingredient for calming down irritation in the skin. Not only does this contain Centella Asiatica, but it also contains niacinamide. Niacinamide helps regulate sebum, it has some soothing properties, and it also helps strengthen the skin barrier. So niacinamide does a lot in a formulation and it's always nice to see it in an ingredients list. After you apply this on the skin, it doesn't leave a thick residue behind as some sunscreens tend to do. And this is actually one of my favorite sunscreens. This is my third bottle of the sunscreen and I really enjoy it. It's at an affordable price point depending on where you buy it from. I think it's around $13 to $15, which is not bad for a sunscreen, not bad for a skincare product in general. And I really love it, especially to reapply in the middle of the day. Recently, I've been trying to apply sunscreen in the middle of the day because I've not I've not really done that in the past, but this one, I really like to use it to reapply midday because it does have some slight moisturizing properties. All right, the next sunscreen is the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock, and this is a sunscreen formulation that blew my mind. This is a physical sunscreen and to be honest I have not tried a lot of physical sunscreens that I've fallen in love with. Most physical sunscreens I've hated. They either made my skin really dry, um, they had terrible white cast, or it just like it would leave like the thickest film on the skin and I just I hated that feeling of physical sunscreens but this one has the most beautiful formulation. It's so light, so watery when you apply it. It almost doesn't feel like a physical sunscreen and it's really a surprise that it is. So this is a physical sunscreen. It has SPF 50+, plus. it also has a PA rating of PA++++. 
plus so four pluses um, it's also essential oil and fragrance free which I really appreciate so this also contains niacinamide niacinamide again helps brighten the skin it can regulate sebum and soothe the skin and just does all of the wonderful things that niacinamide does as a skincare ingredient it also contains madocasticide and asiaticoside again two components found in centella asiatica a well-known ingredient for soothing the skin and calming down inflammation and also for for its wound healing properties. The texture, I cannot stress this enough, is so lightweight, so watery. It is amazing as a physical sunscreen. So if you've been looking for a physical sunscreen, I highly recommend that you try this. I think the formulation will just blow you away. I was so mind blown when I first tried this and so impressed. And recently I've been using this as my daytime sunscreen and then using this to reapply in the middle of the day. I really like the sunscreen. So this is a physical sunscreen that uses zinc oxide and zinc oxide, while it is an amazing sunscreen ingredient, it is also an ingredient that is known for being a mild astringent that removes excess oil. So as somebody who has dry skin using this, I do find that towards the end of the day, my skin starts to feel dry but I apply this on at 8 a.m. and I start to feel dry maybe around 5 p.m. I've tried another physical sunscreen recently and I would apply it on at 8 a.m. and by 2 p.m. my skin would be just so tight and dry and uncomfortable but this one is just more comfortable to wear on the skin and doesn't completely dry out my skin so I really really recommend this one as a physical sunscreen I would recommend this for more normal to oily skin types, but I think if you're a dry skin type like me, I think you can still comfortably use this, but you just want to be mindful that this does cause a little bit um, dryness in the skin when you use it. Not only is the texture amazing on this, but it actually has minimal white cast, which is very impressive. I know I'm not exactly the test for whether or not a physical sunscreen has white cast, but I have seen videos in which reviewers with darker skin tones than me have tested it on their skin and they look amazing. It doesn't change their skin tone drastically or make them look chalky or super pale. So I think this is just overall a fantastic physical sunscreen. So if you are looking for one, this is at an amazing price point as well. I think it's around $15. I'm going to try to link the videos of different reviewers with um, darker skin tones testing this so you can see how it wears on their skin because I'm aware that not everybody is as pale as I am. So I'm going to try to link them down below so you guys can just check them out and see how it wears on other skin tones. All right, that is it for today's review. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye!